According to legend, while visiting Zion National Park in 1916, Methodist minister Frederick Vining Fisher was in awe of a huge cliff of a rock formation in front of him. He said the cliff was so high an angel would land there. The name Angel's Landing goes with the biblical name of the park, Zion, itself. In this video, we're going to learn about one of the most popular landmarks in Zion. Stay tuned. Hello YouTube, my name is Jeff and welcome to the Road Mars Project. Here on this channel we discuss the benefits of visiting national parks, the beauty of nature and the outdoors, and all other fun recreational activities during your road trip. If you're new to this channel, I invite you to like this video as well as subscribing to the channel to get the latest videos. Angel's Landing is located within Zion National Park and arguably is the most popular attraction in the park. It was once called Temple of Aeolus. It has an elevation of 5,770 feet at its highest point. Now the trail is about 2.5 miles and about 1,500 feet in elevation gain, give or take. And during that strenuous hike, there are a few sections. There's a series of switchbacks that gain an elevation as well. After completing that section, there's Scout Lookout Point. At Scout Lookout Point, you can either turn around and head back or proceed up to Angel's Landing. You actually have to climb up this section and there's a chain to hold on to that will assist you. Then there's the very top of Angel's Landing. And up there, there's a breathtaking view of Zion Canyon that is mind-blowing. By the way, you would have to obtain a permit to go beyond Scout's Lookout Point. So if you're looking to get that magnificent experience of standing on top of Angel's Landing and taking that panoramic shot of Zion Canyon and getting that feeling of accomplishment, be sure to get that permit. Okay, so yours truly got to experience Angel's Landing firsthand several years back. And I'm here to tell you it's quite a strenuous hike, okay? It was demanding on the mental as well as the physical. But it was nothing that I or you guys can't handle. So be sure to wear proper footwear and drink plenty of water and hydrate often. And get ready for the and get ready to create memories, okay? All right, so, so I'm just kind of go off without the notes right here. So, you know, several years back, I don't know if I could do it now, but you know, I went up, I went up to Angel's Landing because I wanted to get that, uh, that beautiful shot of uh, Zion Canyon. I mean, Zion uh, Can Canyon Valley. It's a, it's like a valley. I have a picture in there. I have a picture in there. And, uh, I was wondering, I was like, how can I get, where, where is this right here? This is at the top of Angel's Landing. I was like, oh my God, way up there. So I went on ahead and did it. I went, uh, I remember hiking, I got the Scouts Lookout. And, it, and I remember I was tired too. I was tired going up there. And it was crowded too. It was crowded as well. It was Memorial Day weekend. I think it was like 2013, 2012, something like that. And, uh. I saw a bunch of children going up there. I saw some children. I was like, they can do it. I can do it. So I went up there and I didn't regret it. Now, going up is easy for me because you didn't have to look down. So I went up there, went up top, took in 
the beauty of, um, of being up top there, the nice, fresh, crisp air, the feeling of accomplishment, like I said, and, um, and then, you know, got my shots of, uh, of, um, Zion Kane, the, the valley, which I kind of, I, I think I lost that, I lost the card. I lost the car years ago. I think I lost it when I when I was moving. Anyway, um, coming down. Now coming down, you have to look down. You're looking down at the, uh, the you know, you know, you're coming down. So I had to kind of crab walk, <laughs> coming down, grabbing chains, and then it was so crowded. Like I said, it was crowded. Now you have to have a permit. You don't have that many people going up and down. So you, you got people going up, and you got people going down. So you have to move around them, maneuver around them. And I had to kind of crab walk, and you could look straight down, <laughs> thousands of feet, <laughs> coming down. But that was a great experience. Like I said, it's creating memories, and I think you guys can do the same you'll never forget it okay all right so make sure you make your way when you make your way to zion cannon take that uh hike up uh angels landing that's something you got to do once have you ever visited angels landing are you planning on visiting angels landing please feel free to comment below i would like to hear your thoughts remember to like this video share this video and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, everyone. And until next time, peace.